What's going on guys? I mentioned in a video yesterday that Android 15 beta number one is live. I've installed it on my Pixel 8 Pro. In this video, I'm gonna show you the new stuff in this beta number one. Now there are some like developer facing things I'm not really gonna talk about. This video is just going to be covering the things that the end user is actually going to see. And then at the end of that, we're going to talk about a couple of things I can't demonstrate on this device. And then we're also going to talk about a handful of features that were actually present in earlier developer previews for Android 15, but I don't see them currently in this Android 15 beta one. Will they come back? Will they stay gone? Hard to say. Let's jump into the new features though. All right, guys, so here's what made it in in no particular order. Let's jump into our settings first, and we're going to come down here to sound and vibration. Scroll down to where you see vibration and haptics, and if you click on this, there's a new section to universally disable or enable keyboard vibration. Some third-party keyboards will have this setting built in, but now, apparently, you can just turn it off and on right there. Staying in settings, if we go to apps and then default apps, you now have the ability to set a default wallet application. Now at the moment, it's not like there's a ton of wallets to choose from, but I do like this because it's going to open things up. Other companies, other developers are going to be able to make their own wallet application, and you're gonna be able to set it as the default wallet in this Android 15 release. If we jump into network and internet, and then we go into our Wi-Fi section here, if we select on a network, we're able to actually see this new privacy section, which will allow you to access a couple of things. I think the randomized or device MAC address thing has been there. But the ability to turn this off, send device name, I think is going to be potentially useful for some people. If we jump into those Wi-Fi settings and scroll down, there's an option under network preferences that is also new, allow WEP networks, as you can see. WEP is an older security protocol that is less secure. So if you don't want to be using a Wi-Fi network that uses an older, less secure version of security, you don't have to anymore. There's apparently a similar feature to this for mobile networks as well that's meant to kind of warn you if you are on an unsecure mobile network. If someone is using something like a Stingray device that basically acts like a cell tower and is used to connect to your device and then steal data, Presumably this would pop up and tell you I don't have a sim in my pixel 8 pro So I don't have that option to show you but I can at least explain it to you on the home screen If we select an application by long pressing and then selecting app info We now have the option to archive an application I'll show you what happens when you do this this app is now archived and it should be saving space on the home screen now you can see that the application icon is still there but there's this little download icon there now as well and if we click on that it's going to go ahead and install it from the play store and in theory when i launch this it should basically pick things up exactly where i left off and it looks like it did exactly that so that is pretty cool on the home screen if we long press and jump into our widgets you will more often now see suggested widgets up here in a side-by-side -side layout. Right now, it is just one application, but you will occasionally, and actually this is the first time it's not been side-by-side, -side. of course, I'm filming, so it's not gonna do it, but you will see side-by-side -side there more often. If we come down here, you'll notice that pixel weather is now an option, and nothing has changed with these widgets, they're just no longer in a section that says weather. They are now under pixel weather. So let's jump into some things that, like I said, were there in the earlier developer previews, but I'm not seeing on my device now. Hard to say exactly what's going on or, again, if those things are going to come back to the final release or if they were just things they were playing with. Like I said, let's go through them. So the first one is something called notification cooldown. You are apparently able to have this setting where if you were maybe getting blown up by somebody, they're sending you lots of notifications or a particular app is hitting you over and over and over. This would slowly lower the volume of those notifications, basically to cool them down, to make them a little bit less annoying. Apparently, we also had some haptics in the brightness slider, moving the brightness higher or lower. There was some sort of little... A haptic vibrational bump there to tell you that was going on that does not appear to be there on my device there was also a setting called audio sharing i'm not exactly sure how this was meant to work but it was apparently meant to share the audio from your device with other people's audio devices again 
Not real clear on that one, but that was apparently something that was in some earlier versions. And I'm also not seeing the option to switch to high quality webcam. If you don't know, with recent releases, you can plug your Pixel device into your computer and there's an option that will pop up in the little section. You know the notification that pops up, you click it and you can tell it to be transferring files, charge only, whatever. You can also have an option there that will say webcam. And apparently you could select that and then select a higher quality mode. Again, that's not something I'm seeing on my device, but it may return. I've also not gotten confirmation yet about a feature that was supposed to be delivered to the Pixel Fold. Now, I've talked about this in prior videos, but it's basically a new expanded version of the settings where if you go from the tablet display to your cover display, you will have the option to either have it always remain on or have the swipe up to continue option there. I do not know if that is there in this release. Check the comments down below because I know some of you have installed 15 beta one on your Pixel Fold and you're gonna tell me down there below if that setting is there. Another thing though that I wanna mention for larger devices is that apparently going forward, with Android 15 and on, applications should be designed targeting a full screen view. There should be something on screen now showing you what I mean. This should make applications on the Pixel Fold, Pixel Tablet, and then of course going forward, all large screen devices look a little bit better. And the last thing I wanna point out to you guys is that apparently there have been some changes to the way the NFC works, and because of that, NFC is apparently not working in this first release. So if you are a tap to pay aficionado, you're probably gonna wanna skip this one for now. So obviously this beta has only been available for about a day, actually a little bit less than, so there's not been a whole lot of reports yet with regard to stability. Now, since we had that developer preview first, it's possible that this is a little bit more stable than a typical beta number one, but, Typical beta number ones are not particularly stable. That's why they are a beta. So I would encourage anyone and everyone, if it is your daily driver, probably don't install it for now because you might not have a great time. I would love to hear though, from those of you who have installed it on their daily driver, what's it been like? In particular, I wanna hear about the Pixel Fold. How is it on there? Because as always, I am tempted to do the dumb thing and install it on my device as well. Overall, it looks like Android 15 is shaping up to be another relatively iterative release. Unfortunately, when you get to the 15th version of an operating system, it's not all that often that you're going to try to totally reinvent the wheel. Things are going to be much more iterative from here forward if I had to make any sort of guess. I think they've pretty much got things figured out the way that they want them to be. But let me know what you think in the comments down below, guys. I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.